Hello everyone, so today I'm going to be doing a video on the NEC PCFX emulator and I'm going to show you how to run it. So basically you need a couple of things to run it. You, ne you will need the BIOS for the NEC PCFX emulator, which is right here. You will need some games and you will need the emulator itself so first of all you can get the emulator from this site and I will leave it in the video description so you can get it and um, I'm going to un and you will probably need a, a 7-zip emu 7-zip uh, file utility program, so it's called 7-zip. You'll need to get the right one for your computer, so I have a Windows 10 64-bit operating system, so this is what I chose. If you have a 32-bit operating system or a 32-bit operating uh, version of Windows 10, you can pick the 32-bit version and download it. So I'm going to basically um, zip all the files. Create a folder called NEC PCFX. And I'm going to unzip the emulator files first. Just like that. Get rid of this because I don't need it. I'm going to put the files folder in there as well. And I'm going to unzip the game files with 7-zip. Copy that and paste it in there. Press enter. And extract all of these files. I'm just going to do one at a time. That's better. Okay. Okay, I got all that. Don't need these files. I'm going to create another folder called games in the emulator folder. Okay. Delete. Whoops. Gonna delete that. Now I'm going to run the emulator. Okay, the way you run it is just like this. Just put in the image file and put it right there like that. And it should just run. And let's configure the controls. To do that, it's um, Alt Control One. Up, up, down, and down. Right, right. Select, right, right.
遠い遠い未来の世界人類は新しい文明まあどうして悲しそうな顔をするだってダメルシフォン Tilda to fast forward. What does a man you are? So Nakao Snyder is for. Die job and escape the exit. And you could configure this file. This is kind of like a configuration file for、uh, the simulator. Zero is off, one is on. That's all it is. Let's run another game. As you can see, it runs. All these titles are Japanese, so if you don't understand Japanese, you're not gonna play any of these games. But if you do, you can. Okay, now I'm going to show you how to、uh, configure the emulator's file. So, you go over here, and then you go to PC FX. So, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to try to、uh, change it to full screen. So, Here, this is a full documentation for the PCFX emulator. Everything you need to know is right here. So,、uh, in order to change or configure the controls, you go to, you press Alt Shift 1 and configure the controls like how I did earlier. So, it's going to ask you what, it, what you want for up key. So, I just press up twice. 
if it asks for down, then I press down, down arrow twice. And if it asks for like select mode, I press the bracket button twice, the right bracket, etc., etc. So that's how you do it. For some reason, it asks you to press the button twice. I don't know why, but it just does. So Alt Shift 2 enables you to enable the second controller on this video game console and these are the default controls if you didn't configure your controls basically and, um, it also shows you that you have to put the BIOS file into the emulator folder which I did earlier <coughs> shows you various things like how to change the uh, CPU speed emulation speed you can change from 2 to 10, 2 being the lowest and 10 being the fastest. And that's an integer number, a whole number, like 1 to a million, with no decimals. So we have a PCFX CPU emulation. So it's just set on auto, so it selects between fast and accurate. Fast is like it doesn't require a lot of CPU speed, CPU power, but it's going to skip and stuff, so it's not as good. Accurate is, um, it's going to try to emulate it like the original emulator, original hardware, which is going to require a lot more uh, CPU power, basically. And C PCFX CPU emulation, that's in the configuration file. There it is, so it's set on auto, however <coughs> you can change it to what you like. I'm going to go to CPU stretch, I mean a PCFX stretch that enables you to get full screen with your on your screen basically so um, here it is quite a long file, so bear with me. There it is. That's a stretched option. So I don't want that. But that's the default. It's not gonna give you a full screen, so I want full basically. That will give me a full screen when I am enable full screen. So I'm just gonna save it. Now I'm gonna run the game again. Full screen.
green as you can see. Okay, as you can see that uh, I was able to play the PC FX emulator in full screen. So that concludes this tutorial. So um, basically, you can play around with these settings to uh, configure your NEC PC FX emulator and I will leave this link in the video description so you can see it for yourself and play around with it and any other uh, things you may need for it except for the BIOS you're gonna have to look for that yourself I'm sure you can find it if you google it okay thanks for watching by Ace 1000KS 1975 signing out